Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today what I'd like to show is how to manage our online subscription licenses. So to begin, you can go to account.tecla.com. Once you're there, you can click on the login button and you'll be prompted to input your username and password. This is looking for your Trimble identity. If you don't have one created, you can click on create an account and that will walk you through the process of establishing a Trimble identity. Once you have that established, you can input your username here, click on next. You'll then be prompted for your password. I've already inserted mine. So this will immediately take me to my profile page. To manage your licenses, you can come up here to my organization. If you're an admin, you'll see this access admin tool. If you're not an admin, you'll need admin privileges in order to manage the licenses. Right here, underneath the organization administrators, it will list all of the admins in your organization. You can have as many as you want. If you reach out to any of those admins, they'll be able to grant you admin rights, or you can reach out to us and we can help with that as well. So to access the admin tool, I'll just go ahead and click that button there. And what this will do is it will load my organization and allow me to view the information related to that. So if I scroll down here, I'll be able to see a list of all of the people that are in my organization. And once they're in my organization, I can assign them licenses. If there are people that aren't showing up here that need to be added to your organization, you can use this invite users button and then insert their email address. They'll get a link. Once they accept that invitation, they'll be added here to the organization. So I'll scroll over here so we can see the different licenses that we have access to, depending upon which ones you've purchased. Those will be visible here. In this test account, we have all of these licenses from the carbon, the diamond, and the graphite licenses. And then in all of the different varieties that you can purchase, you can purchase a standard license, a flex, or a worldwide. So to assign a license, all you do is just come in and check this box to assign it to the user that should receive the license. Now one key thing to understand about our licensing and specifically about our standard licenses is that you're only allowed to assign them a certain amount of times per year. So for a standard license, you can only assign it up to four times in a calendar year. So if you were to purchase one carbon license, you could assign that four different times. If you purchase two carbon licenses, what we do is we take those assignments and group those together which would then allow you to assign those two licenses up to eight different times in that calendar year. So to give you a quick example and show you how this works, if I wanted to assign myself a carbon license, I can come in and click this button. And then what this will do is it will just give me an indicator here telling me that I'm about to assign a license to this user. It'll tell me that this can only be assigned a limited number of times. And then it tells me the total assignments that I have remaining, and I'll explain this here in a minute. And it'll tell me after I assign this license how many free seats I'll have available. So I'll go ahead and click Assign License, and now you can see a confirmation up here in the right-hand corner that that license has been successfully assigned. And that's it. Now the user can go in and start using that. If you want to understand how many licenses you have and how many assignments you have remaining, you can click this question mark here. And this will tell you that we have a total seat count of 50. So I'm allowed four assignments per license. So what we do is we just multiply the seat count, this 50 by four, and group that together. And that determines this assignments remaining. So you can see initially we would have had 200 assignments. We've gone through and done five assignments since then, which means we have 195 assignments remaining. And now I can see how many licenses are assigned. So it said that I had 48 left because two are already assigned. I can view how many are reserved by invitation and how many of these licenses are actually currently in use. If you have a flex or a worldwide license and you click on this question mark, you can see it tells you everything except for the assignments remaining because you're allowed an unlimited number of assignments with a flex or a worldwide license. So that's the only difference that you'll see here. If you want to unassign a license, the process is the same. You just come in and simply check the license that should be removed from the user. And then you get a same confirmation dialog box that will show up telling you the action that you're about to take, that we're about to remove this carbon license from my account. And then once I do that, you'll be able to see the number of assignments that are remaining. 
and how many seats are available. So that's a quick overview of how to assign the licenses. Just to recap, you log in, you go to the admin tool, you make sure the user exists in the organization, and then you click the box of the license that should be assigned to that user. To unassign it, you click the box again to remove that license. And then for standard licenses, you can just keep an eye on how many assignments you have remaining to make sure that you don't hit that limit. So I hope that clearly explains the process of how to manage these licenses. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.